Hey guys, it's CSVN001 here. Welcome back to my walkthrough. Last time we took over an outpost and did the first level of a challenge. This time, hopefully, we'll finish that challenge and this PLAV challenge. Oh my god, that is not the boat I was aiming for. Alright. This is the final level of Jungle Cruise, which once again, it's not the, it's not really that much more difficult, just the time limit obviously. It's a little bit shorter, and that's about it. So, nothing really happened while I was at break, I just uh, called over here and I just decided that I would do this. But once we do this, we will hopefully be able to finish the uh, Black Market Warm Heart mission. And as soon as we finish that, all we'll have left in Pirate Challenges is the Yo-Ho-Ho -Ho and the Truck Full of Rum missions. Which I may wait a little while to do. I don't know yet when I'm going to do those. Because you have to do all three levels of it, and I'm not at all happy about that. Oh, that was awesome. Anyway, close to the mines. Yeah, we know they have mines in the water, don't we, guys? We've seen them here like 30 times that I had to do this challenge. Let's see if I can just avoid shooting at some of the mines. It'll save time. I mean, just as long as you take your time through this area, you're fine, really. I mean... Mines aren't that big a threat as long as you can avoid them. I think they, I would personally think they're a little bit easier to avoid in the uh, jet ski. And the reason of that being that it's so much smaller that you can weave between them a little bit easier. Oh look, the mines are still destroyed from here. Okay, that's good. You can use that little jet jump there. Pretty helpful. I, knew that. I thought that guy was going to run into one of the mines. Whoa! Holy crap, do not blow up that mine while you're near me. Please don't. Whoa! Don't blow up that one either. Holy crap. Oh, okay, this one I'm probably going to have to blow him up. That was close. Anyway... God, why do they make you weave through like 60 minefields? It's ridiculous. And then that dirt, you can't see anything to where if you hit a mine, you're screwed. I did not miss that checkpoint at all, but I guess the game thinks I did. I don't know how much time I have. Whoa! God, like someone's blowing up all the mines right now. Oh, looks like some UP guys drowning or something. I'm pretty sure that if you knock a guy into the water in this game, they automatically die. Whereas in Just Cause 2, you don't automatically kill someone by making him land in the water. Either way, we're almost done. Plenty of time left, and we finished with almost full health. Dang, that actually went really well. Final checkpoint. It takes so much damage when you ram into that, uh, Chinese boat. Whoa. So with that, we have finally finished that mission. We unlocked that. I believe that's actually the boat that we just unlocked right there. Anyway. So that's done. Yeah, did you see that? He just jumped in the water and he died. Someone just missiled this area. I'm not sure what they're all firing at, because, I mean, the pirate guys are friendly. Whoa, maybe that's it. Whoa, dang, look at the battle going on here. There's, like, a UP chopper, and a pirate chopper, and Chinese soldiers and a Chinese missile boat. It's kind of cool. I don't think there's ever any way to drive the uh, Lucky Lady, though, the helicopter. I don't think there's any way to drive it. There, I'm sure there's a way to with hacking, but without hacking, I don't really know. So, actually, once we beat this... Uh, once we beat this challenge, we're almost going to be ready to start, uh, to go with the next story mission. Won't be much longer after this.
I mean, we may just skip that other challenge for a little while. I don't really want to feel. I don't really feel like doing more challenges tonight after we beat this. So once we beat this, I'm probably just going to go on and not do that other challenge for a little while. I'll remember to do it at some point, though. So what do we get? This time we get the Kestrel Tank Hunter, and then we get the Mosquito AA. Don't really care about the shop items as long as we unlock them. But luckily, after the pirate challenges, there really are not that many more challenges even in the game. I believe there's only like one for the allies and one for the Chinese, if I remember correctly. Even though they're both pretty aggravating. I can't really remember it that well. So, last time we got through this without losing any cargo at all. I'm sure I just jinxed it by saying that. So, the only difference is that we have to deliver like two more, two thousand more dollars worth of cargo, which really isn't that hard at all. And I think the time limit gets cut by like half a minute or something, I'm not completely sure. So if everything goes correctly, I will actually be able to complete this challenge fully by the end of the video. And that means that we can do the next story mission in the next video, because we will be saving that last pirate challenge for a little while. Alright. Nice music. Nothing really more to talk about. It's just the same thing we've already seen before. Whoa. Yeah, mobile AAs. Those are kind of rare in this game. Even that idiot civilian drives into us. Alright, here we go. Or drive away from that thing so it doesn't blow you up by accident because that is possible. And then remember when you get to these smokestacks, you gotta be careful. Or something like that will happen. Man, I thought I might get through without even losing anything again. What the heck? Something just blew up behind me. Well, we're gonna make it now, though. Bye-bye. I don't really care that much about the truck health. We've got more than enough cargo left. The last time I got like 2.2 million. Maybe it's because I kept all the cargo. Like maybe if you beat any of these challenges without losing any cargo, you get something for it. I don't really know. Whoa there. Be careful. And we are done. Again. Not hard. This is just a nice little slide because there's always health packs right here. There's always some fuel over there. I think there's a boat down there and some money. Anyway, so we've completed that section of the contract. Alright, so now let's head back there and do part three. So, by doing part three, next time we'll actually be able to do a real mission for the first time in like six or seven videos. I'm happy to do that. Look at how glitchy his helicopter was, anyway. But when you think about, it, couldn't they just put their stuff on one of their, uh, Helicopter, like their gunny transports or whatever they're called, couldn't they just put them on a transport helicopter? Because that would be so much easier. I mean, yes, there are those anti-air sites down there, but you could just fly over the water and they wouldn't be able to shoot you down. I don't know. I guess, am I the only, I, don't, I doubt I'm the only one that's ever thought of that. But anyway, let us continue. I believe this time you have to deliver 7,000. And what do we get? The Mosquito AA, I believe. 300 grand. Yeah. Sure, Plus whatever cargo is left. Let us go. Do <laughs> 
Sorry about those random noises, but there's really nothing better to talk about. Nothing really better to do, because it's the same thing over and over again. It's just driving the car, this truck, all the way to the end of that area. Looks like we already lost 2,000 cargo, so there's only 30 boxes in there. You have to deliver 8. So once again, not hard at all. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe I got that extra 2 million just as a bonus or something. I'm not completely sure. Oh, crap! I didn't think if I hit one stupid little tiny palm tree, it would make me lose everything. That's just another reason for me to say that I hate trees in this game. Me and Lizard Guy figured that out a long time ago, back in like what was originally our the fourth video we ever filmed of Mercenaries 2. We figured out that we hated trees. Maybe it was even the third video, I'm not completely sure. Great, we've already lost half our cargo, and we can only lose another, and we've only got like double the amount that we need. Let's open that a little bit more. I, guess it, I mean, it doesn't really matter though, as long as you have enough. That's actually a pretty cool explosion though. I hate that, it's so annoying, because when that falls and you screw up, you like, lose a lot of cargo, or you just get blown up. Well, we made it, so the hard stuff is over. Whoa, that was an RPG. Okay, let's be careful now. Let's speed through and hope that another RPG doesn't attack us. Man, how many gun trucks these guys have around here? Why would they delegate so much to stopping me from delivering whatever this is? I mean, they don't even know what it is. Anyway, oh, I lost another uh, piece of cargo, oh well. I mean, they don't even know what it is. I don't know what it is, so why would they be attacking me over it? Oh, thank you, PLAB. So this next mission is actually a true mission, but it's a little more complicated. It's a little bit more difficult. But it doesn't piss me off, so I'm happy with that. Now that we have the Anaconda already, we're actually in pretty good shape for taking it on. And we're done. Oh, they're organs! Okay, that makes actually a lot of sense. Alright, that makes sense. 314,000. So, with that, we are now done with all work for UP. Except for, obviously, their uh, challenges and stuff. We finished Jungle Cruise. And we finished all... I mean, we finished Blinded with a Twist. We still have to do Yoho and a truck full of rum, but that'll be a little bit later. So, next time, we will be doing Tropical Island Getaway for the PLAB. I will see you guys then.